Hello dear Cosifem, welcome. Please watch this video until the end to catch up on the latest Kaiser Chiefs news proudly brought to you by the Kickoff SA. South African football legend Jomosono is convinced Kaiser Chiefs signed very good players that would make Amakosi a formidable opponent for Klorko based Mamelodi Sundowns. The Tony Giants have already wheeled away in the PSL title race and Chiefs so far struggle to match the Yellow Nation for performance or consistency. But Sono feels Amakosi can challenge Sundowns. Jomo told Kickoff, I looked at Chiefs and I saw that they are dark horses. Not to win the league, but they are dark horses to challenge Sundowns. Because they've signed some very good players, I saw them against Sundowns, I saw them against Sikukune for 90 minutes, I watched the game and I thought they played very well, Jomo added. The problem with Chiefs before was they brought in all these players and they did not know who should play where. Now they have a proper team, now you look at the right back position that was their weakness. Now they have a right back in Reef Frosler. He's a good player and might have made a mistake by tackling for that sundown second goal. But he had no chance. He had to tackle. He has made a big difference in the right back position, insisted the Jomo Cosmos mentor. The middle fielder Castillo is a different class. Now they have Untetua and they will be too formidable and even the striker Saile, once you get used to football here, is going to be a problem. I think they are starting to get their team right. They played well in their last two games, Sono concluded. Jomosono is right on some points, but the biggest downside of Chiefs is consistency, guys. In both performance and results, and added to that, they also lack a killer instinct in front of goal. Sundowns, on the other hand, take almost all the opportunities they create. They can also dig in to grind out results when it matters. They know what it means to wear the Brazilian's jersey. But Chiefs players often struggle to wear the jersey and carry the weight of the Corsi nation. Do you agree with our South African Shogela skills legend? Please comment in the section below. Thank you. In other news, after revealing that the 2023-2024 season would be Itumilin Kune's last season as a player, Kay's Chiefs have already identified his long-term replacement and it's not Brandon Peterson. 20-year-old Lungi Lengosi is the man Chiefs are believed to be looking into to fill Kune's place in the future. The tall star born in Katlehong recently returned from a lengthy nine-month layoff due to injury to form part of Chiefs' DSTV Disc Challenge squad. Ngosi alongside Doné Janssen was roped in by coach Molefinzeki to train with the club's first team. Despite boosting the likes of Brandon Peterson, Bruce Bavoma and Buntle Molefe as part of their goalkeeping department with Kune in tandem, indications are that they have set their sights on a long-term future successor for the club's number one jersey. And for Idumelen Kune, the Glamour Boys have earmarked a coaching role for Mzansi's finest once he hangs up his gloves and he could work with his club status successor. Well guys, Lungile isn't prone to mistakes and looking at his DDC performances, it's clear why he doesn't concede much. He's although supposed to work on his ball distribution in order to at least replicate Kunis as the latter is a class of his own. But do comment below guys. Are you happy with the new number one to be? Check his clean sheets in DDC and see for yourself. I cannot wait to read your opinions. In other news, Amakosi fans are pressuring the club to sign attack talent Geleto Makalwa, and this is after Mamelodi Sundowns parted ways with the player, making him a free agent. The pacey 26 year old winger trained with the Brazilians' reserve team after being deemed a surplus to requirements. And following weeks of speculation, the Tony Giants have finally decided his future and also giving him a clearance to sign with any PSL club. Makalo has been pushing for a permanent move away to seek game time. His agent, Ntobazi Masekela, has confirmed that Makalo has been handed his clearance and is free to join any club. Masekela was quoted by the Far Post as saying, 
We managed to reach an amicable decision with Mamelodi Sundowns on the future of Keletzo Makalwa, Ndobazi told Far Post. This is in the best interest of the player to get released and look for more game time elsewhere. So we were successful in getting his wish. All the papers were signed on Thursday before the transfer window closed, Maserela said. All that's left is to get him a team which I believe will be done soon. He has quality and has been working very hard, Maserela concluded. Well guys, Keleto is top quality. All he needs is more hard work and dedication. Here, Amakosi could be looking at a pacey attacker for free. Firstly, since the start of the season, one thing has been clear about Chiefs. No creativity going forward. Most of our attackers cannot penetrate stiff defenses or break them down when they are organized. We also struggle for ideas when coming in from the wider areas. This was especially evident against Supersport United. Keloto would use his space well at sundowns to pull defenders wide and release teammates in the middle for the kill. We really need this at Naturena. A creative player in the wide areas or else we may rely on Edmerson Dove as the only player who can play wide with ideas although as a wing back. But do you agree dear Kosi? Should we get a free Mahalwa or move on with what we have? Please share your views below. In other news, former Kaiser Chiefs midfield solid man Willard Gazande and former Orlando Pirates midfielder Benedict Tso Villagazi have both weighed in on new signing Sibongiseni Mteto's added value in the Amakosi midfield. Ox made his debut last week in the 2-1 win over Sikukune United, making an immediate impact in the 26 minutes he spent on the pitch. Starting with the Chiefs former number six, Willard Gazande, who said to Idiski Times, Personally for me, the team did a great job by bringing him in. Why? He's strong, mature, and he knows the league. There's no time for us to say he's going to adapt because he grew up here. He knows what it is to be at Kaiser Chiefs. He's also a leader and a national team player, added Gazande. I feel now I can rest from hearing that I wasn't replaced. I wish him all the best. But my little piece of advice to him, he's coming as a highly rated player. There is too much hype around his signing. He just needs to focus on his game and what he does best not to try to do things he never did. He must continue doing what made him a household name. But I'm 100% optimistic that he will conquer, Salt and Pepper concluded. Meanwhile, Villegazi even went further stating that Ox should replace Yusuf Mud in the heart of midfield. So said of the new chief's man while speaking to Idiski TV. He should come in for mud. He's strong and is a good defensive midfielder. I rate him highly. You can feel his presence in that midfield. He's good with the ball. He's good without the ball. When you've got a player like that defense-wise, he can come in and help the defense. And then, when they get the ball, he can start helping them going forward, added Zo Villegas. Well guys, Adding anything will ruin everything these two PSL legends have said. So, I can only ask for your opinions. Do you think Salt and Pepper and Zoe are on point? Please share your views in the comment section below.